Podcast. We are standing in front of the great Marthwa Mala. Let's go, guys. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys know, our channel is all about adventures. Yes, today it's gonna be a whole new level because we are taking a fragment, a piece of the Ramayana, the great epic, because we are standing in front of the great Marthwa Mala, which is believed to be a fragment of the Sanjeevani mountain taken by the great god Hanuman or Anjaneer. So let's go guys. Man, oh man, that is amazing, guys. This is a perfect climate. It's raining, actually. And it's perfect climate. And it is believed that it, it, this this uh, whole mountain is actually filled with medicines and all. We are not even at the top of this mountain. Look at this. Look at the view I'm getting. <laughs> wow, guys. So friends, I don't know how many of you noticed, but it is not man-made steps, you know, it's carved. I mean, it's man-made, it's carved. It's not like cement or rocks or something. This whole mountain, this whole rock, it's actually granite. This rock is actually granite. So they carved the granite to form a step. That's awesome, right? And the view from here is just awesome. You know, still we have to go like a uh, couple of kilometers, I, I guess, I don't know. It's like it's, uh, too high. So let's go guys. Let's see what's gonna come. So friends, after the basement and after you know few steps and all, we reached the temple right here. This is actually a Shiva temple, and we, we reached here. And near to that, we can see some, some uh, kind of a water body. Look at that. So we can see a water body, and it is believed that it never dries off. You know, even in hot summer season, even if every water in Tamil Nadu dries off, this won't dries off because it has that of that sort of properties, and it is believed to be really sacred. And uh, this water is actually taken for the purposes of you know uh, the temple and all. another cave temple you know uh, near to this banyan tree and it's after that uh, shiva cave temple this is actually a sacred cave we by a monk called duraisami and uh, you know his people only opens this nobody is actually allowed to enter inside this oh my god it's, it's so windy guys so let's get up So friends, I hope you guys could see this. So the Samuji here actually gave me prasad, and we are here. So friends, and after visiting the temple and all, we are actually here. This is actually built by rocks, nothing, just rocks. It is actually used for you know 
when uh, the Swamiji's over there, which we saw, they usually rest here. This is their resting place and uh, they have food here and all those stuff. So friends, Sorry. now I'll explain to you why this mountain is actually called as Marutua Malay. You know, by the name itself, you'll be like, oh, that's the same mountain which, uh, you know, our great Lord Hanuman took. Actually, kind of, because uh, it, the belief is like that. You know, at the time of war between uh, Rama and Ravana, uh, Rama's uh, brother Lakshmana got injured by Ravana's son Indrajit. So, uh, Jambavan, he was actually the oldest guy ever lived. So, he told Hanuman that there is actually a mountain with four herbs which can help Lakshmana to recover. So, those are Mridhasanchevini, uh, Vishalya Karni, Savarna Karni, and Sandana Karni. So, these are the four uh, medicinal plants which could help Lakshmana to regain his health. So, in this, Mridhasanchevini is considered to be the most precious one. You know why? Because Mridha Sanjeevini could save life. Whereas the Savarna Karni could save his skin color and everything. And uh, the Sandana Karni could actually repair his skin. So, and uh, Vashilya Karni, which is actually used for arrows. You know, if you have wounds in arrows, it could actually help to recover from it. So, these were the four herbs which uh, Jambavan asked Hanuman to pick up. But the thing is that when Hanuman reached Himalayas and he was searching for this, uh, you know, four herbs, he got confused. You know, he was really confused to take, you know, he, he didn't know which one is Mr. Sanjeevani, which one is Savarna Karni and all. So what he did was he actually lift the mountain. As we, you know, as we know, we, we saw the uh, pictures of Hanuman taking the mountain inside. So by that, he actually took the mountain, the full mountain, he was really confused and he took the whole mountain in his hand, he just flew from uh, Himalaya to Sri Lanka. So what really happened is that, while on the way, this here, this is actually the southernmost part of India, right we have. So uh, a fragment, a piece of this uh, Sanji, you know, Sanjeevini mountain actually, you know, dropped into this place. It is actually believed like that. And it is believed like it's, it's full of herbs and all those stuff. And why this mountain is actually related with Ramayana and all. It's actually a really good belief because as I said, uh, many of our ancestors usually take uh, you know, herbs, medicines from this mountain. So this is actually most related to Ramayana and that's the reason why it is called Marutva Malay. So let's go guys, let's head to the next phases. We have three more phases, let's go. So friends, after that, we are going for the phase two here. Yeah. Friends, uh, you know, uh, getting into phase two. So this is a way to a cave which is known as Pillatala, spiritual leader. His name is Sri Narayana Guru. So this is a place where he actually tends for actually eight years, eight long years here. He did his tenants here and he got enlightenment in the seventh year and came to Kerala and did his thing. Did his magic. So now we are heading to that place. Let's go guys. Really happy everybody is actually utilizing that. Let's go, guys. So, this is gonna be a really challenging one, guys. Look at that.
guys. You know what is this? This is actually a cactus tree. <laughs> you know cactus, right? Look at this. This is a cactus, and this is a cactus tree. Uh, guys, I mean, me and my father, we've been uh, trekking for almost 45 minutes for Pilla Talam. I mean. Even we climbed rocks. Still, we didn't reach there, but the views here is awesome. Still, we gotta go. Like, I don't know, guys. Let's see how much. Let's go. Guys, this is gonna be difficult. We have to go through that. Let's go. Okay, guys, first I'll go in and I'll take my back. Look at that guys, I hope you guys could see this. So we have a cave inside this. So this is the cave. Look at this guys. So this is the cave which he's living in. We have a bed for him. And this is a little cave inside this huge cave. So friends, we are here. We are here at Pilatrap. This place is actually believed for the tenants of four important people, four important saints, four important monks. So uh, the first one, the first saint, the first monk is believed to be Agastya Muni. The second monk who is uh, Ayya Vaigunda Swami. The third monk is actually Chattambi Swami. And the fourth and the last one is actually Sri Narayana Guru. And among these four monks, Sri Narayana Guru is actually took tenants for eight long years and got enlightenment in the seventh year. And he made a revolution. And he did a revolution. He made a strong statement as one caste, one religion, one God. So this is a place of revolution. Sitting here, I believe this all happened of that hard tenants which they took. So this place is the real heaven. This place is worth going. So this place is filled with mysteries. This place is filled with big stories. So let's see what else it can be offered. We are on top of this Marutua Mala. Let's go.
this far, this top of this mountain to see. And I'll show you something else. Friends, uh, this is a wonder as I said. So we'll show you many things. One is the whole Western Guts. Then I'll show you the windmill. You know, we have like a whole lot of thousands and thousands of windmill there. Then we'll show you the southernmost tip part of India where it comes like this. You saw that in the map and we are gonna show you right there. And we are gonna show you Arabian Sea, the Indian Ocean and the Bay of Bengal. So let's go guys. So guys, that's the Western Guts. We have every sort of thing. Agastya, Kudam, everything from the Western Guts. That's the Western Guts. And going there, we can see something else. Windmills, guys. We have thousands of windmills there. Look at that. That's the maximum which I can see. That's crazy, right? Now I'll show you something. You see something there? That's the tip of India. There's a southern most tip of India. That tail which you see there. Look at that. That's the southern tip of India. And the other thing. There's the southern tip. There is the Arabian Sea. And straight, that's the Indian Ocean. And there, we can see Bay of Bengal. Look at that, guys. We can see everything from here. This is a southern tip. That's the tail. So guys, this was one of the most difficult track which I have done. But now I feel so peaceful right now. And this is Gokul Gopan signing off. Guys, I need your like, share and subscribe. And if you like this video, please click that like button. And please share with your friends. And please, 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 I need to subscribe. And I'll be back with more. Let's go, guys.